everyone, it's Alicia Tooch and welcome back to my channel. Now today we are going to dive into an all new Q&A where I took to Instagram saying, hey, what would you like to know? So today I'll be putting those A's to your Q's and I'm looking forward to seeing what you all came up with. So let's get to it. First up, Charlie is asking, what's your favorite food? I'm all over the place when it comes to food because I just love food so, so much. But if I had to choose my all time favorite, it would have to be just a huge plate with cheese, bread, some kind of potato, more cheese. Let's throw in some sushi in there. It would be a clusterfuck, but it would be a lot of great things that I love eating. Hector is asking, what's your favorite quote? Now there's a band called No One The Whale who I absolutely adore, incredible band from the UK. Unfortunately, they have broken up, but their records are amazing. So please go give them a listen as a little side note. But when it comes to that band, they have a lyric that says, what you share with the world is what it keeps of you. And I just think the sentiment of that in terms of what you put out is what stays within this universe once you're gone, it's beautiful. The next question has someone asking, are you happy with your new look? I am. To be honest with you, it was funny because when I had the red hair, that really was what gave me confidence. I'd wake up and feel like a little fiery and just really in my element. And then I decided to go back to my natural roots, quite literally, and go brown. And it was really interesting to me. I don't know if it is for you, but hey, you're still watching. But it was interesting to me because now I go back and look at the red and I think, okay, it was a thing, but do I love it? No, but in the moment I fucking loved it. And now I look at what I have going on now and it just feels more natural, more authentic, more to myself. And I'm really glad that I decided to make that change. So Crow was asking why the change in hair color. So to kind of expand on the last question, the upkeep of red hair was a bitch. I'm telling you, I had to dye it every two and a half weeks. I couldn't go in the shower without looking like Carrie. I remember being in Cuba and coming out of the water and completely ruining this beautiful white hat and like gown that I had on coming out. It was just so, so annoying having the red stain everything. So that was my biggest reason for the change. And then on top of that, just wanting a more natural look once again. Carlos wants to know if I like watching scary movies. I do indeed. However, I am a gigantic chicken shit when I watch scary movies. So I'll usually have to hide under a cover, have a pillow in front of me. I get terrified, but I love them at the same time. So it's a really weird juxtaposition in mind screw when I'm watching them because I can't look away. But the last thing I want to do is look, if that makes any sense. Hamzalik is asking me about my favorite stand up comedians. This is a great question because I love comedy, I love stand-up comedy, and I love talking about it. So my favorites of all time are Jimmy Carr, Anthony Jeselnik, and Bill Burr. These are all three comedians that completely shoot from the hip. They do not hold back. They are super politically incorrect, which is my favorite kind of stand-up, the darker the better. And I think each of them in their own way are just so different, yet have all of those ties and attributes that I love. Jimmy Carr, amazing at puns. He is the king of short, hilarious, super intellectual, but dirty jokes. All amazing comedians. And lastly, we have a question from Chet and he wants to know what has been the most important part of your personal growth over the last two years? I think the most important part has truly been me just opening up and not being scared of what people's thoughts might be about me. I, I just don't care anymore. And once you realize that and you let that all go, man, life is awesome. So I think that's probably the most important part of my growth is just embracing my quirks, embracing the fact that I am such a weirdo, but that's what makes me me. Well, there you all have it. That is all for today's Q&A. Thank you so much for your questions, for watching, and for hanging out with me today. I will be back with plenty more of these coming soon. And of course, tons of other new content I'm really, really hyped about, as I always say. I'm a broken record, but I mean it every time. So thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.